So now I've got the hallway ceiling sorted and the mouldings on there, it's looking brilliant. I thought I'd come into the bedroom and get a bit more of the decorative work done in there. So next thing that I'm going to do is put a chair rail right the way around it, just to divide the room up. And then that will give me the level to work at for when we're doing the decorative mouldings actually on there. And we're going to be using some beautiful decorative wood. I think this is normally a picture rail one, and um, so we'll just cut the back off just so it's, it's going to be the same level on the front because we're going to put the two together. So it's going to be double whip just to give it a nice sort of um, nice decorative touch, really. Obviously, one's nice, but obviously, two is just going to be a bit more over the top. And that's obviously the sort of style that we want of this room. So yeah, I'm gonna get the room measured up now, get all that sorted, and then we can get on uh, sticking them on. And hopefully we should just have enough. So I'm going now. Thank you. 
So just had a quick break and I already got the first layer of the pitch rail on which is looking brilliant. I'm so pleased with how it's looking as well. It's just completely transforming the room. So I'm going to get in there now and get the second layer on. Hopefully that'll just completely transform it once it's on.
So that's our lead chair rail finished and it looks absolutely amazing how it's just worked together. Just putting the one level on was good enough, that looked brilliant anyway, but just having both of the one just completely transforms the, the look and the room to be honest. It just looks so elegant and like it's meant to be really for this sort of style of room that we're creating. It was a bit of a headache trying to get it all lined up, so the pattern lined up and the joints and everything lined up. I was there swearing a couple of times, <laughs> but luckily I managed to get it all sorted. I've got it all tapered into the joints, so this side and behind the door. It all tapers in nicely so it looks a lot more finished. And yeah, I'm really pleased with it. Except like we've got it all the way around now. We've got it sort of fading into the window ledge that we made um, and into the window, so that's good. And then, yeah, on the rest of the room. But the wood detailing I picked up from a Brockhunt, I think it was last year, I picked it up when Rob was here last year. And as soon as we seen it, we thought, oh, like, yeah, I have to get it because it was so cheap and it's just so decorative. Like, you never ever really see anything this decorative, and if you do, it costs an arm and a leg to get it. So, we bought it, not knowing where we'd use it, but it works perfectly in this room. So, I'm so pleased with it. So, I'll go and get everyone else, see what they think too. It's, and yeah, crack on St. Kells. So the sun's finally come out in France. It's been an awful few weeks here. It's been raining non-stop. We've not been able to enjoy some of this glorious countryside that we have around us. So today, the sponsor of today's video is DYU. They've sent us a brand new electric e-bike. So it is the T1, brand new model. I'm gonna put it together and see what it's like. That literally took us five minutes to put together. Really easy. All the tools are in the box. They've got quick shipping and it's got some fantastic little features. It's got a fantastic front light. It's disc brakes front and rear just for safety. It means you can stop nice and quickly. Again, you want that with an e-bike. Um, it's got the removable battery or you can charge it in situ. It's got a uh, seven gear Shimano gears. And yeah, it's just superb. But there's a little secret about this bike. So it folds up, absolutely superb. We've got the space here, but those of you that don't have the space, that live in the cities, that want to be able to get out and about on a bike, this is the ideal solution for you. You can charge in situ. Again, it's just a fantastic little product. Check out the link in the description. I know I'm going to. I'm going to have some great fun on it this year, and they'll have some fantastic offers going on right now. So now I've got all of the chair rail done, it's all stuck on, it's looking amazing. Just it's completely transformed the room now. It's bringing it all together and just seeing how it's gonna be working together. And so that's gonna be the sort of divide line now for the um, plaster paneling that we're gonna to have to do. So we'll have some panels on the bottom and then we'll have bigger panels on the top as well. But before I get to that, I need to do some more wood mouldings and there for the ceiling. So these are going to be just to finish it all off and um, tie in the details of the outer border with the rest of it. So I've got loads of wood mouldings for the trim. I've got four different styles that I've got. So I'm going to stick these on to see how these work together. Only problem is, is the ones that I bought, I thought would 
bend when you apply heat you can only bend them into shape where these ones don't so rather than them, like waste them and buy some other ones I'm going to try and bend these ones in whatever way I can and make them work so I will get these the ones that I know are going to be easier I'll get these up now so I've got them ones and these ones and then I'll go on to the ones that I need to bend and see what we can do with that And that's more of the bedroom finished. Now getting more of the mouldings in. It's looking absolutely amazing. So getting the chair rail on, it's just completely transformed it. And just adding these 
extra little touches of detail, once it's all painted, it's just going to completely just make it unbelievable. All of the details we're going to um, highlight in gold to look like a base colour, which we're still trying on at the minute. So we're wanting a couple of different colours um, to, to work with. So we're just going to see which shade's going to be the best and then we can start looking at getting the paint on. But yeah, the more details we add, all of the details is going to be highlighted in gold just to make it really sort of ornate and French really. It's going to be quite of a, a Baroque style to be honest, obviously it's slowly evolving. So yeah, that'd be amazing. So yeah, I think I'm done for the day now. So we're going to go and get a drink and see what everyone else is up to. So, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon. Where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos.